Okay. So parameterization we did right as last week. So in parameterization, uh, we are doing for the what are the values we are entering through keyboard. Those values we are doing for the like parameterization, right? Like username, password, first name, last name, this all we are doing. So as same to we can do for the uh, like complex parameterization. So complex parameterization, nothing but it is a dependent value. For example, username and uh, password and first name, last name, credit card and uh, address. So these are all details will be there. So think about this like as a username and password. Password will be so depends on the whom username, right? And first name also it is it depends on the whom username only. because based on the username only this all we are we need to uh, like uh, using right as a first name, last name, address, this all details. So that is the dependency will be there. So how do we can do for the parameterization? Like we need to discuss for today. For example, um, I will regenerate this script already. We did this parameterization, right? Just regenerate. So don't do again re regenerate. You need to uh, like do for the you need to create new script and you need to do for the practice point of okay. So just I'm regenerating script. If you regenerate, what will happen? Like so, once first time how you record it, right? What are the things will be there? Only you are able to see that only. Like it is a uh, like script after record the script. Uh, what are the changes you did right all will be gone see now we can go to the action part now how to we can do for the parameterization like uh, so we need to first thing what is the parameterization like what are the values we are entering through keyboard those values we should do the parameterization like we know for that username password we are entered so those values we need to do for parameter how to we can do means you can click on this okay click on right button and replace with parameter and create new parameter. So just what is the name? You need to click on that and then next you can select replace with create new parameter. And after that, which value we are doing? Username, right? You can give for the username or whatever. Okay. Username. Yeah. Username. And this is the type is also important parameterization type. Like it is a date and time or it is a text or it is file. So if it is a text or any numeric, if it that kind of things also we can use for the file. Maybe for year value will be date, then you need to select for the properties date and time. Okay. So now this is the text only, right? So that is why we are selecting for the file type only. And after that, click on properties. And uh, so now you can observe we are selected file type and this is the user dot file. What is the user dot file? Nothing but what is the extension of parameterization dot dot. Dot. dot is a parameter station after that you can click on create table and click on okay now by name or by number you can select anything by name or by number it is indicating from the column names like it is a by number nothing but it's a first column by name nothing but what is the this column okay let me one minute Yeah, now see by name and selecting what is the name of this column name user, you need to select user and here these are the properties we have the sequential random unique will be there. So you need to select for the each iteration or each occurrence and once so each iteration nothing but it will be values update on every iteration. So each occurrence means it is a values update on every occurrence once property nothing but. So if first time, what are the iteration, like what is the values picking? If you are doing for the any number of iterations also, it will pick for the same value. So now I'm selecting for the sequential each iteration and close this and click on OK and always no. 
if you want to replace you can click yes otherwise no and after that username is we did and next we need to do for the password replace with parameter and create new parameter and give for the name which value we are doing password right you can give for the password and this is the file type only right you can select file and click on properties so now is important so now we are doing for the complex parameterization nothing but it is a line by line like it's a username this line and password and first name i want for the line by line so at that point of we need to do for the complex parameterization so how to you can do the complex parameterization nothing but what is the first value you did user dot file you need to select here in file path as a user dot this is the right you can observe kiran i am not able to see the screen for you or any everyone yeah yes. i can see it yeah i can see it okay yeah I... yeah yeah now it's fine yeah yeah, I think your network, okay, please check. Yeah, so now we are selecting for the first dot file. What is the first dot file? User is our dot file. You can select that, okay? And after that here, add column will be there, right? You can click on add column. Last time we are clicking for the edit with notepad and we are entering data. But now we are doing for the complex parameterization. So we can click on add column and here, password so see you can observe i am adding for the password click on okay okay now you can you, you can see the so password is a one more column is created second row so by name what is the name password so column name only you need to select password now it is fine right now this your password will be depends on the whom username so i want to pick for the same line same line nothing but is a username is a jojo i want for the bean so one to one mapping so at that point of what we need to do means here in properties no need to select for the this time as a sequential random unique we have the same line as a user will be there this property will be there you can observe same line as user if you select this means what is the for example user is the jojo and password also it will pick for the bin means same line as some user nothing but what is the dependent values will be there it will pick for the same line as a one-to-one -one mapping point of view we can use for the same line as some other parameter so as a complex parameterization so now username password is done right you can close this and click on okay and always no now after that we need to do for the some other also right you need to come to the script and first name last name also will be there right you can go there and see you can observe first name first name also you can do for the same way or click on right button replace with parameter and create new parameter and give it as a f name okay and uh, this is also file type only so means it's a text so i am selecting for the file and click on properties now don't click for the create table now we need to select for the what is the uh, dot file user dot you need yes, to sir. select for the user dot and uh, after that click on add column so click on first name see click on first first name is came and after that you need to select for the by name what is that first name which column we are adding first name and after that here we need to select for the same line as user because as a first name also it uh, depends on the user only right so that is why we need to select for the same line user means what will happen what is there in same line as user all values is pick one to one mapping jojo bean jojo it is pick so after that you can close this and click on okay and always no and after that we need to do for the last name also replace with the parameter and create new parameter and give for the parameter name is the last name l name and this is also text so we need to give for the select for the file only and after the click on properties and after that go to the which dot file we need to select user dot file so you can observe every time i'm selecting a user dot file only user dot file and there i'm adding for the column as the last name and click on okay and by name you need to select as a 
what is that last name and here you need to select for the same line as user and click on close and click on okay and always no so same way we can do for the all complex parameterization means we can do for the like this create new parameter and uh, give it as a address one address one and this is also file type and go to the properties and uh, you need to select for the user dot file and after that click on add column and add address and select for the address one and select for the same line as user so click on okay and no. so next you want to add for the address to also we are doing same way you can do replace with parameter and give for the parameter name as a address to and go to the properties and select for the which dot file user dot file and click on add column and we are adding for the address to column click that and you need to select for the same line as user and by name you can select for the address to click on okay and always now and passenger one so this also one of the column we are entering as a passenger first name last name details so this also you, we can do for the parameterization as details passenger details okay click on properties and uh, we need to select for the our dot file as a user dot file means only one dot file only we are adding for the all columns click on add column now we are adding for the pass passenger details column and click on okay and you need to select for the same line as user and by name you need to select for the passenger details and click on close and click on okay and and credit card so replace the parameter and create new parameter and give it as a parameter name as a cc credit card this is also you can observe numeric only so we can consider as a is a text or file or any test or anything so numeric we need to take for the file type only and click on properties and uh, now you need to select for the our user dot file and uh, add column which column we are adding cc credit card and uh, you need to select for the property same line as user and by name you need to select for the what is the by name credit card no? so click on okay and no so these all values depends on the home user so that is why every time we are selecting for the same line as user so don't do for the date and time parameter as a complex because date and time will be that is a different one so you need to do for the date and time parameterization only for how we are doing for the last time right same way you can do for the as a individually but only the data only you can do for the complex parameterization now you can go to the parameters see now you can observe all values will be it is a username password first name last name address one address two person details escape and if you click on edit with notepad and you can observe the data is came like this like we have the multiple data we want to create means we can do for the this is the way actual real time also we can do for the this is the way okay so now you want to add for more data means you need to add for the like this jojo one and comma bean one and comma see for username password i added and first name i'm adding for the jojo one and last name i'm adding for the bean one uh, okay and uh, address one i'm adding for the okay amm okay and uh, hyd same also you can add so you can observe username password only we need to very important thing because as a user if it is a success if it is there that user registered user only we are able to log in but first name last name that will be you can give for the same also no problem 
but username password will be must be different because it's a unique need we need for the unique value so and address one address is correct right? passenger details jojo one and bean one and after that credit card number you can go for this so you can click on save this document and click on s now you can observe you are able to see for the this data so now you can observe one by one all values we are entered username through user dot file only we are doing for this and but what is the dependent value like as a user right so this one you can select for the which property you want you need to select like this property you want for the sequential you can select sequential random or unique you can select that is will be your wish but password these all things you can observe go to the password see this is the same line as user and password after we did for the first name first name also we did for the same line as user means same line as other parameter or other parameter nothing but so what is the like it's a one to mapping like so once you can execute for the first iteration all values will pick for the same line values and the second time you can execute for the second iteration it will pick for the these values third time will be third values will pick so that is the same line as some other parameter and this is the complex parameterization we are did as a columns we are adding for in the single dot file that is we can call it as a complex file so now you want to add multiple data because edit with notepad and you want to do for the 100 users 10,000 users means that is a very impossible but we want to how to we can do means we have the option will be there okay so you can close this and you can observe here browse will be there so you have data already is there data will be there you can go there and you can take that data okay now will one minute I will create for the data. How to we can create data? I will explain. Excel. Okay. Okay. So. So now we can uh, so we can take new one. I'm saving this start file. So saving also very important. You can save as a comma delimiter with the CSV data file. You need to select. Here is the right Excel will be there there we have the option will be there comma delimiter csv see this one you can select that and give for the this document name is a test data i'm giving as a test data okay already there so we can give it the name uh, date and 06 02 20, 23 okay and saving for the desktop only okay save this So now, look at this one, no need. So just I'm deleting this worksheet. Now we need to prepare for the our data. So for example, we are doing for this data, right? Username Jojo and password will be bean Jojo one and bean one and first name also Jojo one and last name also what is that Jojo? Uh, last name sorry, bean, right? Bean, I am giving for the bean one, first name, last name, and after that address. I am giving for the I Amin mean, one and Hyderabad one first name last name and after that what is that you can go here and you can check for the data first name last name address one address two and passenger details and CC 
as inheritance will be Jojo one and Bean one. And after that, final will be what? CC. Credit card details, you are passing this. Now you want to, how much data you want, we need to prepare for that data. So just, I want for the like 50 users, you can drag it like this. Means how to we can import for the multiple data means if you want how much data you want, you can create for the like this. I want only 50. See now you can observe every data will be unique data. You got it. You can observe Jojo 1, Jojo 2, Jojo 3, Jojo 4, escape. Four. So now save this. You can save this. Okay. After save, right, you can go to the parameter properties. And here you can go to the browse and uh, there you need to select for the our dot file. So which is the dot file desktop and uh, test data and we are given for the today data. Right? Here you need to select for the all files. Then only it will display for the all files. Now you can select for the our dot file test data and we are given for the today date. Where is that? And desktop only we saved, right? Yeah, this one. You can observe test data 06 02 2023. You can click on and save it. Line 10 check format. Now you can go to the we need to input from the username and the desktop. And always we need select for the all files. And there, what is the name we are saved, right? We can go to there. Failed to read is a data CSV name zero. Okay. Uh, I think we need to give for the names also. So now we can observe here we got data, but it, we don't have that uh, names right we need to give for the same names user comma and same names you can give you give for the rank right it will be impact so in the sheet also you can give but you can uh, now i'm giving for here f name comma and uh, after that l name comma address one comma address two comma and pass details, passenger details, and comma CC and save this. No, there are double comma came after address two. Where is passenger details? You have okay, given. Okay, 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. So now save this. Okay, okay, already we are opened, uh, I think. Yeah, we already saved it. Right? You can save as a desktop also, you can save. Now we can observe. Now we will select again. I change for the file name also. See test data. This is the my file. See now you can observe all data came. So we need to import it all data, right? You can go to the everywhere you are able to select for that. Uh, this is the right. You can select automatically it will come. Okay. Not this password after the first name also. You can go there and select for that. Web one, you can select. Okay, so like this, we can give for the our data how much data we want. We need to all data we are giving from the like this. 
So means we have the multiple data will be there. We want to edit means that is not possible, right? This is the way we need to do for the complex parameterization and we can upload for the our file. Now you can observe all thing is done. CC and deposit that is first name, last name, passenger details also you can select. Uh, but here the extension file name uh, is not the dot. It is the Excel yeah. uh, format. Yes, it's, we are given right. That is format we are giving as a CSV format. Okay. CSV or text format also can give. But whatever may be when you are saving data, right? Save as yeah. a comma delimiter is important thing. So this is the way. We need to import and you can observe everywhere will be I took from the same line some other parameter only. Now you can execute with the multiple user point of view means this data is ready. So this data we can push into the controller like we are we can save the script and you can push the controller 550 user means you can execute for the 50 users. So maybe you want for the 500 users means you need to create for the 500 user data. It's clear? Yes. So, uh, yeah. while you're creating, you used the comma and delimiter. No, can you show it once again? I, I didn't observe much that. Yeah, yeah. If you save a whatever document, right, you can go to the save as it is a you can select here all files. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are opening up save. A, okay. Oh, sorry, not this one, right? Oh, here is our document. Yeah, so for here, you can click on save as, and here you can see for the comma delimiter in file type. If you go Achha. there, you are able to see the CSC comma delimiter. Achha. Type of file name we should select like yes, that. Yes, type of file name you need to select, and after that, uh, automatically you need to give for the name. That is a your issue. You can give for that to data or web. That will automatically data. save to the CSV file. Yeah. Yes. Got. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So this is the way we can do for the parameterization. Okay, but the data is the exactly data I entered. No right. Just I dragged and dog. But that is correct. No right. So now our duty will be test data preparation also. So how do we can prepare for the test data means, for example, you can go to the uh, like our web tour URL, you can enter this and after that we need to click on sign up now and you need to give for the, this data. So manually it is take for the very time, right? So but we need to record for the using our tool. Like you can give for the username, password, confirm data, everything you can give. Click on continue and after that log out. Okay, that scenario you can record. After that, you can do for the parameterization and you can do for the complex parameterization and create for the like file, Excel file, uh, like a comma delimiter. You can save as a CSV and now you can drag it. So, same way you can drag it and this one you can do anything is fine because we are creating new data. For example, here will be Anusha will be there. You are giving for the name Anusha and Anusha 1 and the, after that something password will be 1, 2, 3 you are given. So this data you are uh, like uh, dragged like this. This data will be every time will be new, right? It will create for the new data. And after that, this data you can push into the your exact current script. Uh, like for example, you are doing for the this, right? You can use for the in this point of you can use for this all data because when you are doing for test data means it's a valid data we need because just i drag and drop right in excel sheet just like uh, that one uh, that user will be there not there i don't know just i did but we need for the valid data means you need to create the data yourself got it everyone so Tomorrow we'll see, no worry, okay, how to we can uh, also, mean well, today up to that, right, you need to practice for the complex parameterization and uh, how we did, right, same way you can practice and you'll uh, get some knowledge 
and after that tomorrow we'll see for the we can record the uh, like test data script and we can do for the parameterization through script how to we can prepare for the test data also we'll see because very test data is very important for the performance testing point of view because we are executing with the multiple users so means we need for the multiple user data so same user we can use, do for the multiple times that is a invalid thing because as a real time how it is happening so we are in four numbers there means what will happen everyone credential will be different for the username password if you log in for the any application so means if you are executing for one lakh users also accessing for that facebook application every user will be password will be different so that is why how is the realistic environment is going we need to execute that point of view multiple user point of view so the test data we need to give for the that is a very important thing so anyone any doubt yeah okay yeah and Basically. how many transactions would be there uh, for those also i mean for every transaction we need to select that dot uh, csv file if it don't, is depending don't think the... about as a transaction we are doing uh -huh. for as a parameterization as a like in test yeah. data what is the values we are entering only those values we are doing don't uh, consider as a uh, like transactions here because okay. you so transaction ways only for we want only for the particular transaction response time how much is happening want only we are giving for the transactions okay got it yeah so i think everyone good we can good to close or anyone any doubt So please go through the material and please practice yourself. If you practice only, you will get for the good knowledge and a good experience for the work point of also. Okay. So I think Jayshree, you got laptop? No, Kiran. Okay. What about Usain? Hello? Yes, Kiran. Yeah, you also started, right? Already you have software? Uh, yeah, I have installed and I have uh, started done up. the scripting. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. yeah, good thing, good thing. Yeah, keep on going. Okay, thank you. Bye, everyone. Yeah, okay. Bye. Thank you, bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye.